hello guys welcome to another amazing sunny day here on another farm my name is a and this is a foam tv thank you for joining us on this video i appreciate your comments and your suggestions and we'll be glad to hear from you anytime you have any comments and suggestions and questions that you want to ask about our project if this is your first time on this channel this is a foam tv this is the channel that addresses anything agribusiness uh, crop farming animal farming here we talk about snails we talk about catfish we talk about goats we talk about ducks everything that you want to know in the animal farming industry here today we are on a two acre farm at agogo Agogo is in the Ashanti region of Ghana at a place that we call Beshe. Beshe is like a small community closer to Agogo. And here we have built this modern goat pen. This is a raised goat pen. And this is what your ideal goat pen should look like. I'm not saying that if you don't have this goat pen, you can't start goat farming. In fact, it is always good to start from where you are. Myself, I didn't have this when I started. In fact, this is not for me. But this is what we have built for a client who also lives outside Ghana. She's in the UK. Who has thought about, you know, building or developing the agricultural sector in Ghana. And as you can see, we have built this gold pen. We have also built this 2,000 uh, capacity greenhouse that um, we are almost ready to stock. And today, we are just going to show you what we have done so far i'm excited about this project because this lady has been extremely patient on this project extremely patient on this project so i felt like once we started we had to give it our all and i believe this is one of the best jobs that we have done so far so right off the back you can see that we have your raised stairs so this is where the goats are going to climb into the goat pen and this is a five feet stairs this stairs is five feet um wide right then it takes you right inside your go town so come on in so right inside you have this beautiful um gold pen edifice that we have built now still following through this is your corridor so let's say the goats come in from here as you can see we use the best of wood that we can get and i mean everything is done according to measurements according to the design that we did for this lady and she approved so you can see that we have um these are five inches wide these are your five inches board and you can see that the spaces in between are almost i mean engineered like you can see that they are exactly the same at all places these are two inches wide the space in between these are two inches on the floor you have one inch spaces in between the boards right but on the walls you have two inch spaces in between the boards so please note that this whole braised gold pen is 50 feet by 30 feet so the length is 50 feet long and the width is 30 feet wide so this is a big gold pen and we estimate that this gold pen is going to take between 100 and 150 goats so this is a big project once you enter you can see that we have demarcated this whole gold pen into five rooms okay four smaller rooms and one very large room so this is your first room here this room is 15 by 17 feet 15 feet by 17 feet and you can see how we have done the walls of this it's not like outside but this is how you do the walls once you are inside your goat pen remember that your goat needs a lot of air the goat need a lot of air especially when we are in the uh, very hot uh, weather like this so you have to create your goat pen in such a way that you allow for a lot of air to pass through your goat pen so this is your first room this is your second room here so we have two rooms already this room is 14 feet by 13 feet this is for this room 
and I'm going to tell you what each room has been demarcated for. So all the four rooms, you have your nice corridor here. Okay, so this, the goats here, they come out of this pen. If they want to go, get out, we have one doorway here, and this is where they go. Same as the goats here, they have this doorway that they can get out to. Now, if you come to the third and fourth rooms, this is your third room here. Okay, same measurement as this one. So this is your third room here. As you can see, very spacious. Very spacious room here. And I just like the quality of work, the quality of the wood. It's very important if you are doing this huge project. Don't, for, don't forget, this project is not cheap. So once you decide to do it, you must use the most quality of uh, materials. So the wood that we use, in fact, we had to get somebody to actually uh, saw the wood for us, specifically for this project. And uh, you can see the boards are all five inches um, wide. And before you can use the space in between, like I said, is one inch on each side. We do, we allow one inch space uh, because you want the gold um, droppings to be able to fall through the spaces you leave in between the board when you are sweeping. Okay, and that is why this is a raised gold pen. We raise the gold pen so that the droppings, the urine will drop down uh, to the ground and not stay in the gold pen. And that's why this is ideal. It prevents a whole lot of diseases and it helps the gold to live very healthy. So this is your fourth room. This is also as big as the other one. So all the four rooms that we have demarcated, one room is mainly going to be for the pregnant goats. So when your goats are pregnant, you don't want to mix them with the whole head because it will give you problems. You know, they will be pushing each other. Some of them will be bullying them. And before you know, the goats may miscarriage. So you want to separate all the pregnant goats, especially those in the nearer to uh, childbirth or delivery. So you place all of them in one room like this one. Now, when the goats deliver, you want to put all the kids also in one room. So all the kids are also going to be in one room. Now, we don't want to mix the male with the female. The male who are going to mate the female. You don't want to mix them together. So you want to mate or cross the goats when they are on heat. So this is a business. So when you want to do it, you have to do it according to how best practices are. So we are going to wait when the goats are on heat, we cross them. That way, we are able to ensure that we have a season that we are going to receive a lot of kids. Okay, so we don't just allow them to mate anyhow. No, that's why we are going to separate the males from the female. Okay, now there's also going to be another room that's going to be like an isolation room, like a sick bay. And that's where we are going to put, you know, before we do first aid or before we have an idea of what disease or what pest or what is worrying a goat, that's where we are going to keep it. So this project is well thought through. Everything has been ticketed for. And this is the large room. We like, we like to call it, this is the master bedroom. So this place is 20 feet by 30 feet. This is a big, I mean, pen. Or room and this room alone if you want to staff really goats here can take about a hundred goats but that's not what we are going to do we want them to have a lot of free movement a lot of air you know allow them to grow as healthy and strong as we want them and as fast as they can be so this is your raised goat pen remember that we have one room or one door that leads to the big room okay so from the corridor, there's a corridor that comes through from the first gate right into your main room. Now, we have another gate that leads out of the main room. So you have one gate here and another entrance here. So you have two access rows to the main room. So it's either you are walking them through this 
staircase or this access road or you use the other um gates or the other access road they pass through the corridor and then they come into this main room okay so this wall is four feet raised and you can see that we did it four feet and then used wire fence to you know take it from here to the top okay and this is to give it extra security because sometimes you have some ghosts that can actually jump out of the uh, fence okay out of the wall so that's why we have put this wire mesh here that's supposed to keep them in and also supposed to keep thieves out if you want so that nobody can jump over the wall and come inside now when we go outside this good pen this is a very detailed presentation of what we have done here if you go outside this good, um, good pen you can see that we have raised the good pen and normally when people raise gold pen normally people like to use thick wood and other you know wood products to raise the pen in this case i decided to use metal so this is a four inches thick round pipe metal pipe and you can see we have painted um, the base with anti-rust so that it's not, it's not going to rust and then we have put it in a very solid concrete so this is unmovable this is unshakable right and we use four inches for all the major um uh, pillars of the pen okay so you can see it starts from there there's the four inches starts from there this is another four inch this is a three inch pipe why because this is a supporting pillar this is not a main pillar so for all the supporting pillars, we use a three inch pipe painted with anti-rust from the base, concreted on the, by, on the ground, and then we supported or we continue with wood. This wood goes all the way up to the roofing level, okay? And if you come under, that is how, you can see I can almost stand at the, at the base of the gold pen and that's one exciting thing about this. So it's easy to clean even under the gold pen without a lot of stress, okay? And that is what we have done for all under, you can see a lot of pillars supporting your weight up there because a lot of gold is equal to a lot of weight, right? So we have a lot of pillars that we have put under here and each one of these pillars has concrete base. We have used concrete to, you know, make it stand firm. And so this project, like I said, it's a very detailed, very thought through. It's a very planned project. And we are going to try and put 100 to 150 goats here. This means we are starting very, very strong. We are starting very, very big. Hopefully, we are going to expand this project towards the greenhouse at my back. We are going to continue with another same 100, 150 um, capacity raised goat pen at the back. And so, if you are outside this country, if you are interested in goat farming, if you ever thought about this is 2024, this is when you must make your farming dreams come into a reality. Okay? I know you guys have been planning, we want to start, you want to do, start anyhow, start where you are. Now, if you can afford to build the ideal situation, I mean, goat pen, fine, do it. If you cannot, and you can build the one on the ground, fine, do it. Don't let the particular type of housing system deter you from starting your gold pen. But this is the ideal one, right? And so if you can afford it, this is the best way that you should go. Um, maybe in another video, I'll give you the details of the how much we spent, how what we bought and all these things. But for now, I just want you to, you know, look at the edifice, look at the details, the measurements, and, and how you can do it on your own if you have um, any interest in doing something of this sort. So if this is your first time on this channel, please click on the subscribe button, share this video, leave us a comment, and then click on the notification bell. So anytime that we send a video or we post a video, 
you'll be the one of the first people to watch and then you give us your comments and your suggestions too i hope this video has been entertaining i hope it has been educative i hope it has sparked something in you to also start something uh, on your own um, i always say that agriculture is the way to go agri is the way to go so to all our member our family members outside all our people outside who are interested in coming back to settle in africa to settle in ghana please look into the agri field and how best you can um, help us grow this industry and make it one of the best in africa because we have to be able to feed ourselves we have to be self-sufficient and so uh, thank you for watching this video hope to see you again on one of our most educative and entertaining videos here on the foam tv see you again bye bye